reports say two sections of Africa, of the continent, have started to move apart. And this change is associated with the East African Rift System. Reports indicate that parts of Africa have started to separate, a process linked to the East African Rift System. While the ground beneath us is often shifting, recent seismic activity suggests something more alarming. The continent may actually be tearing apart. Powerful earthquakes have shaken the East African Rift, raising concerns about Africa's future. A dramatic event occurred when a massive 50-foot deep crack appeared in Kenya's Rift Valley, surprising both residents and scientists. This wasn't a singular occurrence, but a signal of a much larger geological transformation beneath Africa. In the past month, 31 strong earthquakes have struck the region, signaling increasing instability in the East African Rift. The most powerful of these was a 5.8 magnitude quake, further stressing fault lines that are slowly tearing the continent apart. Particularly concerning is the seismic activity around Ethiopia's Fentail volcano, where a swarm of earthquakes has been recorded, including a 5.1 magnitude quake on December 29th and a 4.7 magnitude tremor the following day. These events suggest that magma is rising beneath the volcano, which could trigger an eruption. The shallow depth of these earthquakes made them widely felt, even reaching Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital. This seismic swarm mirrors a similar event from 1989, when 25 earthquakes over magnitude 4.2 occurred within a 48-hour period, often a precursor to tectonic shifts or volcanic eruptions. The East African Rift, stretching over 3,000 kilometers, is one of the most seismically active regions in the world due to the slow divergence of the Nubian and Somalian tectonic plates, a process that has been ongoing for millions of years. Recent scientific findings reveal mantle plumes beneath the rift, generating high temperatures that create thermal bulges in regions like central Kenya and the Afar region of Ethiopia. This weakening of the crust causes fracturing, increased volcanic activity, and massive lava flows, known as flood basal eruptions, over millions of years. As the rift continues to separate the continent, movements occur at a rate of mere fractions of an inch annually. However, Seismic events like recent tremors can cause sudden shifts in the land, accelerating volcanic activity along the rift. The same process that separated South America from Africa millions of years ago is still occurring in East Africa. The increasing risk is especially worrying for the millions of people living near the fault line, including more than 3.4 million people within 100 kilometers of Fentail Volcano, who face the potential for earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. In towns like Metara and Awash, residents have reported continuous tremors, suggesting that smaller, undetected earthquakes are occurring alongside the major quakes. Although no direct damage has been reported, authorities are advising caution, as the transformation of the land appears inevitable. These tremors are just the beginning, with even more powerful forces shaking the region and raising concerns about what comes next. On December 29th, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake struck at 10.20 p.m. Universal Time Coordinated, shaking the ground across Ethiopia and beyond. The earthquake's shallow depth and proximity to heavily populated areas, including Metara and Nazareth, made its effects widely felt. This quake was part of a growing seismic crisis in the region, with 31 strong earthquakes recorded in just one month. Less than a day later, a 4.7 magnitude tremor struck southeast of Metara, heightening fears that the rift's instability is worsening. These quakes are particularly concerning due to their location near Fentail Volcano, which has a history of eruptions, including one in 1820. Scientists believe the tremors indicate magma movement beneath the volcano, which could lead to an eruption if pressure continues to build. Continuous tremors have been reported in surrounding towns, adding to concerns. The East African Rift, a 3,000 km tectonic boundary between the Red Sea and Mozambique, is the site of ongoing plate separation. As the rift widens, experts predict that water from the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden will eventually flood the depression, forming a new ocean that will permanently divide East Africa from the rest of the continent. The rift's expansion is already visible in Kenya, where a 50-foot deep crack appeared in the Rift Valley. Continued seismic and volcanic activity near Fentail Volcano is weakening the crust, 
increasing the likelihood that earthquakes will accelerate the rift formation. While this process is slow, occurring at just a fraction of an inch per year, major seismic events can cause sudden shifts, bringing East Africa closer to eventual separation. Geologists predict that it may take 5 to 10 million years for the rift to fully develop into an ocean, splitting parts of Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique, and creating new landmasses. This slow process mirrors the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea millions of years ago. The ongoing seismic activity in East Africa is not just a geological phenomenon, but a growing threat to millions of people. In recent months, 31 strong earthquakes have been recorded, including the 5.8 magnitude quake on December 29th and a 4.7 magnitude tremor on December 30th. The continuous tremors and increased volcanic activity heighten concerns for nearby communities. The formation of a new ocean and the growing seismic activity provide a rare glimpse into Earth's forces at work. The transformation of East Africa is part of Earth's continuous geological evolution, potentially reshaping the continent's geography in the distant future.